Please proceed to the highlighted route. Keep to the right. And then, turn right. start. Good morning everyone. More ways than one. You can see uh, end game here. It's uh, nighttime for me and uh, we're getting started on another um, job. But also for me personally it's early in the morning and you can see that in the uh, upper in the upper left hand corner there I have uh, decided to put a, a clock overlay on this specific job and uh, the reason being is because I want to try something that I haven't done for a while and to uh, show you guys the uh, the nature of how long some of these drives can be but this job is going to be a long one um, I am up here in Washington State uh, I think it's in Everett so it's the north uh, um, north western part up in there top corner and uh, the job's going to take me down to, I believe it's Gallup, New Mexico. And that's like seven states drive. And it's going to take a while. I'm not going to lie, it's going to take a while. Um, and that's the reason I put the clock up there is because I wanted to show the, uh, the length of time for the journey of real time. And uh, there may be some interruptions and delays, uh, we'll see. Uh, but my intention is to like, uh, do a time lapse and have it just kind of fast forward through the uh, the journey for the most part. Um, I may have some uh, spots where I slow down and have some commentary here and there, but uh, it's mainly just to show the the differences in the um, the countryside and the the states and the driving and stuff. So, and just to kind of have some fun, just uh, relax and get out on the on the road. So I have um, let me uh, get over in this lane. I have done a little bit of fixing on some of my mods also. Um, if you didn't notice right back there, in the, uh, we passed on the side road, there was a motorcycle. So it looks like I might have gotten that fixed. And uh, so yeah, hopefully, and then maybe there's, I think, a couple other things I might have like added in. I don't remember right off right now, but um, yeah. Let's just uh, go ahead and get this thing started. By the way, um, before I actually, I guess, get on the uh, the freeway here, um, it's kind of ironic. The other day, uh, I was out with my family, and we were driving around on the actual freeways and stuff like that. Um, so just in the cities like usual. And, uh, oh, I need to turn right here, don't I? Um, and just to taunt and torment me, I think it was, uh, we ended up seeing not one, but two fire trucks on the freeway <laughs> and I'm like oh great I'm getting to see them everywhere now so I just thought that was a bit of a bit of irony for me I was wanting to record and actually like drop them in the video session here uh, but I didn't get my camera out in time to, to do it they kind of drove by too fast but it was it was kind of funny because like I said I saw the first one I'm like oh wow but then just like in the game here within probably about another uh, mile or two I saw a second one coming by I was like great and uh, I actually had seen I think through the course of that day five fire trucks overall between the uh, the freeways and the city roads and so I was just like well this seems fitting <laughs> but all right well here we go we should be on the road I've been uh, rested before this uh, I've been gassed up I think we uh, don't have to have any interruptions for a while but yeah, let's get this started. I hate cities. 
not just in this game, but in real life. I hate driving in big cities and stuff like that with all the traffic, but, uh, I was, I was, uh, prepping, um, a little bit here the other day. I wanted to start getting things ready because I want to do a, uh, a Euro truck simulator drive as well, so I was in there getting, making sure everything was working properly because I haven't played it in, like, a long time. And, uh, Man, I once I got in there and was driving around those cities, they're like, it feels like even more narrow than here in American Truck Simulator. So it's gonna be interesting when I get to that point. But, uh, yeah. Love the nighttime sky though. Love the uh, the stars and stuff out there. Wish I could see more of them, but here in the big city, it's light pollution just makes it. Pretty much impossible. I wanted to show what it looked like at nighttime with the uh, the lights on. It's pretty cool. I like it. Definitely adds for that uh, trucking atmosphere and vibe. But anyway, so yeah, that's what it looks like with my vehicle with the lights on. So. <laughs> Driving into the sunshine. That looks really nice. Early morning. So here's a question for you. Have any of you guys ever watched any of those videos of, uh, or maybe you've even recorded them, <laughs> I guess it's a possibility, of the uh, people who drive across the country with like the, their go cams, dash cams, whatever, recording the, the, um, the drive itself from one part of the state to another or whatever. I mean, that's kind of what this is doing right now. And in watching those videos, sometimes it's kind of funny when you sit there and you see, like, for a good majority of the video, this one vehicle just stuck up there in front of the person for a long, long time. It's kind of what's happening right here with this truck up to my right, that big uh, liquid uh, hauler there. That and that Coke truck that's up ahead. They just kind of like seem prevalent. So hopefully I can get past them here and we won't have to keep seeing them in most of the video. Uh, oh, great. Well, it's not going to matter. I got to get over. I got to get over. I got to get over. There's a way station. It's calling my name. That just seems fitting. <laughs> Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the purpose of these way stations is a couple fold. It's one to make sure that you're uh, you're hauling what you say you're hauling. You know, they do a check of your, I think your manifest and stuff like that, um, the weight of your your cargo. But I think it's also doing that because uh, they want to verify you're a legal 
ethical driving trucker, that you're not performing any sort of illegal activities. So if they uh, see weight discrepancies between what your uh, your cargo manifest states and what you're actually hauling, uh, it raises wet red flags. So, and that's uh, why they have these at periodic checkpoints, I believe, so they can do that. I mean, I'm sure there's other reasons, and like I said, if you have any insight into that more than I do, feel free to let me know, but... For those who aren't aware, um, yeah. <laughs> Another bit of uh, fun fact for me is uh, when I was younger, um, really early on, I was in my 20s, I think, and, uh, ooh, ooh, what you doing, mister? Um, oh, so yeah, this is one of the things I added in as a DLC, is this kind of a thing. So, a little little uh, incident blocks the road like that so it helps to add a little bit of uh, again diversity to your driving makes things in um, spice up a little bit so you can have some instead of just being a straight born drive all the time but getting back to what I was saying uh, when I was younger um, first uh, kind of getting my uh, feet wet in the world uh, I didn't know all these little details like that way station thing and so at the time frame I actually had a, uh, just a Toyota pickup truck <laughs> and I uh, saw the signs on the side of the road here says uh, truckers must stop or whatever it is and I thought that meant me because I had a truck <laughs> so I pulled over to the way station to do my part and uh, yeah well found out it's only for semi trucks and things not for personal pickup trucks unless you're doing like a uh, a move of some sort that requires you to get your vehicle weighed. But yeah, just a fun fact for you there to help out. over here in the uh, sides of the road with the, the dry grass makes me wonder uh, what it's going to look like when we actually uh, see the devs develop uh, places like Kansas you know the flat fields of like grass and green and whatever out there for miles and miles that'd be interesting but now it's ways down the road we still got Texas to go so Wow, this is a traffic jam right here. Trucks passing trucks passing trucks. Blocking the entire length of the, the roads. Isn't this just what you hate to see when you're actually driving out there on the roads behind a bunch of truckers? Whoa. Stay in your lane. Oh, great. Going through a bunch of those switchbacks here. Get over if I could, but man, I just don't want to do it in the middle. Oh, hitting stuff. <laughs> don't want to do it in the middle of all these turns back and forth, but oh man, see, this is crazy. And uh, I don't know if you saw it right there, but there was another motorcycle. So, like I said, I got that thing, I think, fixed and worked in uh, my game. Turns out, I think it was uh, one of the mods I have. I think it's um, realistic driving AI or something like that. That if you put it over the uh, the mod with the motorcycles, which in this case I think is Jazzy Cat motorcycles I have. Um, if you put over it, I think it prevented it from working properly, so I just rearranged the order. And it looks like I got my, my motorcycles back again. I 
Dude, what's up with the semi in front of me switching back and forth between the lanes? Come on, stay in your own lane. Man. I need to get over myself, but stay in one lane. You're a trucker, you shouldn't be like flipping back and forth like that. And there's nobody around you. I don't have to stop at this way station this time. That's good. Oh man, you know, I don't realize how tense I kind of got just driving through those uh, winding roads back there, back and forth, but man, I actually got a little stressed out doing that. Going way too fast for sure. Hello there, another motorcycle and train. Um, something else I was sitting here just now thought about is, uh, I don't remember where it's at. Um, but again, one point I was driving across uh, country. Uh, I think I was, I think I was hauling a load. I don't even remember. It's been so long ago. But um, I had come into the Rockies, and I think I was coming into California. And uh, hey, it's another motorcycle. And um, there's one of these roads that's coming down from the Rockies, the the peaks of it, through the uh, the passes and things. And it is like a seriously steep decline or incline, depending if you're, which direction you're going. But I was going downhill. And, uh, man, that thing was just, like, incredibly steep. And it was switching back left and right, left and right. And I'm like, I was getting nerve wracked on driving that thing. And at the time frame, I even distinctly remember thinking, like, do truck drivers even do this? And I think there might have been a couple truckers on the road at that point, actually. And it's like, why in the world would they want to drive down this thing? This is like nerve-wracking beyond all imagine. And I got, again, I got to give it props to the, the professionals who do this thing over and over again because that just stressed me out to no end trying to go back and forth down such a steep incline. It was like a lot of traffic too on the road with other cars and trucks. Man. Things that... Uh, you remember that situations like this jar and bring back to the forefront because I hadn't actually thought about that in years. Look, it's a police officer in the middle of the road. Hello, sir. Get those speeders and people who aren't abiding by the law. Look at this uh, area here. Wide open views. Got some scenery of the mountains, but it's kind of bleak to me. It's just all dry and barren. And again, I think I mentioned before in a previous uh, session, a little video, that if you're from here, you're born here, this is what you're used to, this is what you like. And you probably see all the greenery and think, wow, it's just too much greenery and foliage. But I could be wrong. But Everybody gets accustomed and climatized to the places that they live and or grow up and I'm just used to the trees.
This guy should not be in this lane. There you go. Get out. That's what I was going to say. People who are driving slow should not be in the fast lane. Oh, man. you guys ever done long road trips like this driving across the country and stuff where have you guys been to me I've done this quite often I've driven from California through to Florida across the bottom I've driven from Florida back to California <laughs> uh, I've driven from Florida up to uh, New York and over to um, South Dakota you know <laughs> through all that I've driven from California to Montana and back. Uh, yeah, I've, I've done a lot of driving in my days and seen a lot of the countryside. It's uh, definitely got a lot of uh, vast differences depending on where you're at. And it's just really interesting to see. Like, uh, um, I don't know if uh, we'll see it too much when I get down there. Probably should, but I have in here um, a mod that allows the. Uh, Arizona, New Mexico area like that, the deserts, to display like the red rock that you actually see when you drive through those states, which is a real thing. So maybe when we get down, you can see that here, um, spotting the landscape. It's pretty, uh, pretty impressive. That's why I've added it in. But yeah, it's just it's interesting to get out here and drive. Sometimes it's boring. Sometimes it's uh, fun. But it's definitely a, a change of pace. That's for sure. Alrighty, so I'm yawning. Looks like I might need to get myself some rest soon. Even though it looks like my fuel gets to go much more, I may try to do a double double take. So I guess I should try and figure out where to pull over and take a snooze. Alright, well, looking at the road, there's a way station up ahead that... Um, if I have to stop at, maybe I'll just get the rest there. But otherwise, I think I'm going to bypass it, go a little bit further down the road. It looks like there's a rest stop off the side. And I might do that one because, uh, that's, if nothing else, that's just for me trying to get 100% on the, uh, the roads. And I don't need to do the way station if I can avoid it. Um, it'll let me get one of those roads, and so will the rest stop that I get past that. So we'll see. Um, gas station is much further down the road, so... Maybe I'll just bypass that for right now. Alright, so I can miss this way station, so that's good. So I'm going to go up to the following uh, rest stop and get it, because like right here, I haven't hit this road. So this will help me. Uh, I've done the west the way station side right there but I haven't done this side so this helps me to count that so and then the rest station up there does the same thing when I get to that one so yay works out <sighs> go rest area one mile I better get there quickly cuz I'm yawning and the screen is going black on me a little bit all right well I did it that time yay okay so um, I think at this point we are about halfway through the journey and uh, yeah, we're back in nighttime driving again for a little while. Um, but I'll probably have to stop, maybe get some gas. I don't know, I got 100 gallons still, so maybe I can get a lot bit, a lot longer down the road. Um, 
Get on the high beams, getting out of here. So one of the uh, the things I was looking at when I was coming back into the game here today was that um, remember I think maybe uh, before I mentioned the uh, the achievements for driving long journeys uh, they have actually two <laughs> they have one for driving 600 miles without incident without getting uh, tickets accidents so on and so forth so if you can do that 600 miles you get that achievement but then they have another one that's similar but it's, instead it's driving a thousand miles with the heavy cargo and I mean that's like the hauling a tractor or something like that <laughs> so uh, eventually I'll try to do those but I think if I want want to I'd probably want to try to do the the tractor get them both knocked out at the same time hopefully but yeah those would be tricky to do See that? Uh, that may have just messed me completely up. All right. Please proceed to the highlighted route. See if I can squeeze through here or not. This is going to be a fiasco. That was seriously messed up and totally unexpected. Oh man, that would be an incident that would just totally look I'm now with an accent thank you guys um, that would be one of those things that would mess up the uh, the 600 or 1000 mile drive and journey man how convenient is that timing uh, but now I've got like vehicle engine problems so I have to go get some maintenance I don't know if I'll get there in time or not but you can see I got the uh, service message right up there in front Oh man. Um Yeah, that wasn't cool. That right there though, uh reminded me of I mean, literally just it was such a flash, it's like it just happened like your life flash before your eyes type of thing. Just for a game even, that's just crazy. But um it reminded me of an incident with one of my co workers who was uh hospitalized really I gotta stop at the way station too uh, from one of my co-workers though, who was hospitalized because of that exact situation that happened right there is that he was falling behind somebody who couldn't see around him and that guy at the last second turned and got out of the way of something that was in front of him and my co-worker he didn't get to see it and react in time and slammed right into it and yeah, it messed him up bad. It messed him up really, really bad. So, if anything, that's a key lesson right there is to uh, not follow closely behind vehicles because you never know what can happen. You never know. Oh, see, my engine just died. No, 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 no. Alright, well, start up again. See if maybe I can get up here to, uh... Get up to this place. I think it's just right around the corner here, so hopefully I can get to it in time.
Otherwise, you have to call in uh, maintenance tow truck to pick you up and take you where you're going. Oh, man, come on. There we go. Come on, just, just inch and crawl. Get there. Get there, get there, get there. Trying to baby this thing. Green light. Oh, man. Causing more problems. Whoa, whoa. Getting the right. Man. This is just messing me up badly, this whole accident. Hear the gears grinding. Ugh. Hear that? Ugh. Ugh. Just makes me cringe. No, 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 no. Oh, I could just see. <laughs> Strain. I could just see the engine stopping there right in the middle of the tracks. Oh, man. Uh, train coming by. Smash. Oh, man. Can this get any worse? Not until after I get myself fixed. Man. So bad. Look, <laughs> it's like stopping right here. I'm like right here and it's like keeps dying on me. Oh man. this thing. Uh, truck damage. $42,000 of truck damage. Uh, my insurance though. Look at that. I pay 3000 I can do that. Wow. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Alright. Let's see if I'm getting out of here now. Oh, yay. I can go around the back side here. Nice. I thought there was like a little median or something. <sighs> well, that was an interesting diversion. A little excitement. A little uh, stress on the nerves. I didn't notice it. I think we're in Utah. Oh, come on. <sighs> um, I think I'm going to have to back up completely.
Man, this journey has just been crazy. This is about like what happened um, <laughs> before I even started this this job here. I'd actually I'd actually tried to do another one before this, and uh, that got all kinds of messed up bad. <laughs> I got my vehicle in a tight situation that I just could not get out of, so I had to like reset. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, I was trying to say is like I think we're in Utah now. I didn't even see the sign for that, but when I was looking at the uh, the map here, um. It looked like uh, we're in like Salt Lake area, so I didn't realize. <laughs> it looks like that ambulance was still sitting up there from earlier. I know it wasn't, but that's kind of funny. Anyways, about the only thing I think we haven't seen so far this journey at this point is uh, rain. <laughs> I guess we need some rain now. do the rest of this journey without incident. <laughs> Man, let's just get this thing done at this point. Wow. It does look really good to uh, look like uh, Salt Lake City. Looks pretty accurate actually. Pretty close. I mean not like 100% but it's pretty close. And yes, I have been to Salt Lake before. farm over here. Whoa, dude, dude, dude. Seriously. Man, drivers, why do you have to stop in order to figure out that you want to get in your lane? Have you not taken driving lessons? You're not supposed to impede the flow of traffic. You're supposed to get out of the lane before you break. Come on. Wow. Alright, well hopefully I plan this properly to uh, stop at a gas station up here right around where it looks like my fuel is going to be running out, so I actually planned ahead. Uh, oh, 
hell yay way station I have to stop at so um, I was about ready to say though I was like I just saw the fire truck followed up by an ambulance and uh, I know I point them out a lot uh, but it's kind of hard to, to not see them as I've stated before but um, I think that the uh, the mod that I have in for a realistic driving AI is what does it. I think that's what's caused it to be in there so much. And uh, I know there's other AI traffic density mods and stuff out there, so you'll experiment with them with your own personal desires. But it's the one I liked out of all the ones I've tried. Yet that I guess that's the one one of the drawbacks to it. But there you have it. Driving through a little uh, countryside here. I love it out here. These little small farms with lots of land and no neighbors. At least not like right on your doorstep. I don't even know where I'm at right now. I think I'm still in Utah. Keep to the right. And then oh. Continue straight. Right. I came in here. I wanted to get some gas. That's why. Whoa! Oh, who did I hit? I didn't see anybody. There you go. Another one of those examples of just messing you up on a 600 mile drive. Something as simple as that. Take out a Prius. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Man. It's breakfast time. I'm hungry. That sounds so good. Hey, motorcycle. You can be waiting a while there, mister. Sitting behind an empty vehicle. <laughs> traffic here. There you go. Turn signal at least. Yay, thank you. Hi there, fire truck. Somebody's being decent and helping me out. Okay, so, uh, sorry about that. Had a little hiccup there. Um, my recording software crashed on me right in the middle of that, so I stepped out to restart it. But we'll see if we can uh, continue without any more hiccups on that part, too. All right, let's keep going. If you're looking out off the side there as I'm turning, you can see a little bit of the red tint to the mountainside. That's what I was trying to explain earlier. One of my mods allows that to happen because I think uh, default, the uh, game devs, they didn't incorporate that in um, to the what they did. So one of the uh, community members made a mod that allowed it to happen, and I actually like it a lot. So adds a nice little flair and effect and some uh, added realism to the driving experience. Makes the scenery more interesting. 
Go, man, go. Apparently there's a lot of these accidents on the road. There was an ambulance coming up on the side of me. I guess they're coming to this situation right here. Ah. Oh. So, the mod I have, um, obviously it puts those in there periodically. And I think there's more besides just those roadside accidents to it. But um, I think, what, three, uh, three of them now? And the length of this uh, drive and journey? Oh, looks like I got rest here soon. Three of them in this journey is not too bad considering it's been a, a few hours of actual real, real life driving. Alright, well I'm glad I just quickly glanced in and looked because I was going to head to the right, but there's a uh, place to sleep right here to the left. So I'm going to go grab it real quick. Just pulling the, I guess they're just pulling the dirt there. Oh, that's interesting. Ooh. All right, well, this just goes to show you, long journey. This is what my third uh, rest. No, man, let me get a second. I guess because I started, did a rest just before I started the mission or the job. I don't know. I'll have to double check. Please turn around. If possible, just get back on the road. What? Why did I, am I going too fast? Uh, uh. Well, you saw it. That was kind of cool, though. The, the lights flashing on the uh, police vehicle back there as it drove past and gave me a ticket. I didn't really appreciate the ticket, but hey, it's still kind of cool to see. <laughs> It's a little, little nerve-wracking to try and drive at nights in these dark roads and everything. Um, but I have a feeling, like, oop, there you go. I have a feeling that, uh, I mean, get, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but that uh, truckers would probably prefer to drive on the roads at night when they don't have to deal with a lot of the traffic. I think it just make things a lot easier. Station. Where do I gotta go for the way station?
three miles. Wow, that's like a dance notice. says all trucks must cl uh, clear the way station. <laughs> Let's see if these guys turn left. Yeah, look at that. No. I get to be the lucky one. Hello, police officer. I'm doing the right thing. Mm. Not hitting your vehicle either. charge right there for weird all right well i have about 130 miles or so to go it looks like to get to the destination so without any further problems i'm hoping to get there but <laughs> you know unimpeded significant uh, road detour going on right here. I don't know if this is part of the uh, mod or if this is actual just what the game is right here. I don't remember. I haven't driven through this area enough I guess to pay attention to that. guys just so I can get through this height light hopefully because I may get stuck otherwise. And fire truck. Vistas here. Long distances of nothing to see. Some shrubs and cactus, and that's about it. I don't even know. Is there cactus out here? I think those are. Uh, maybe not. Hop off the side of the road there as I was slowing down. Glad that I slowed down slow enough to not get a ticket. <laughs> More donuts. being 
here on a previous uh, job before. I think I was doing a lot of backtracking, but I do remember being here. It's been a long time though. Uh, anyways, looks like we're finishing up uh, the job here. It's just around the corner. So we'll see how well we do here. Um, getting it done, parking and whatnot. Wow, what a way to end it. <laughs> Got a fire truck here at the last part, but all right, we're about done with this place. But anyways, uh, one of the things I was thinking about when I was driving along this whole uh, journey is, like I mentioned earlier, I've been to Salt Lake. Well, I've been to a lot of places, and it just got me thinking. I think it's of the Johnny Cash songs, like uh, "I've Been Everywhere, Man." I've been everywhere, so. Let's see, I think I could do that one. I'll just do the usual, so we'll go ahead and get that taken care of. But anyways, yeah, as I uh, saying, it's like, uh, I have been all over the place. I've been to so many states and uh, been overseas to quite a few places. So definitely uh, nice to be able to get out and see some uh, scenery and things. Hopefully I'll be able to park this one pretty easily. Let's see here. If that drive, I definitely need it. There we go. Did it. Am I late or not? Satisfactory. I wasn't late at least, so. Uh, look at that damage penalty. Uh, there you go, though. Long distance delivery bonus. Trailer maneuvering bonus, damage penalty, proficiency bonus, total. Whew. Oh, and I leveled up too. Ah, oh, nice. Let's see which one. You know, I think I'll just go with another hazardous cargo. I just want to add to that for right now. We'll get them all. Well, it may not have been the best parking job there, but it's in. But anyways, uh, there you go. I wanted to do a long... Uh, journey show you the uh, the countryside show you how long it takes uh, we'll see up in the corner there uh, the time it is now from the time that when we started um, it's been quite a bit of actual real life driving just to get to this point so it shows you that it takes a time it takes a while so but I do hope you enjoyed it and uh, thanks for uh, coming with me on this little uh, journey um, next time I'm thinking maybe I'll try to do the uh, the euro truck uh, simulator drive and uh, we'll get to experience that a little bit uh, but we'll see we'll see which one I am in the mood for but until then uh, thank you again for joining me uh, give me your usual give me your comments and uh, any thumbs ups thumbs down and subscriptions and uh, I'll talk to y'all later take care and happy trucking bye oh this is not gonna be pretty at all <laughs>